a video I made about a month ago. I talked about uh, I talked about the most notorious glitches in mine in Minecraft. Uh, 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 the noto most notorious glitches in Minecraft. And in that case, I explained multiple, but uh, uh, apparent, unfortunately though, that video was outdated, so time to make part two. Well, it's kind of outdated. Because we're still in snapshot history. So, we're going to talk about the first glitch. Well, before this... <laughs> But first things first, this is just to remind you just about what we are going to talk about. Alright, here we go. This is a very serious situation. If you teleport a certain distance of blocks out, you will begin to see that the land doesn't last very long. This guy will teleport all the way to the far lands, and yeah, things are very bad. As you can see, the land literally flashes. I'm not kidding. It does. Not only does the terrain flash, but as time goes on, the game... Uh, 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 now, the game doesn't start getting unplayable until... Uh, until 5,000 blocks out. Because in, uh, now it is just unplayable. The first case recorded was at 10,000 blocks out, which most people often go through. By twenty thousand blocks out, the you it's definitely see something is wrong. By five thousand blocks out, uh, uh, by five uh, by fifty thousand blocks out is basically limit where it's completely playable. In five, uh, in f had five hundred thousand blocks out. The game is half playable, half unplayable. So basically, partially playable. Not completely playable, but just partially. It's ridiculous. Besides, let. Besides, why? 
And as you can see from the Minecraft wiki, it says just that. Up until 1.1, there existed a spectacular bug with the OptiFine mod, which caused the world rendering to completely break down when traveling a far enough distance away, which occurs as soon as 10,000 blocks. The effects would appear to get more intense continuously, moving the far away from one has opposed to have been cut off every two to the power integer blocks due to this rendering bug also taking rotation into account although if rotation is kept constant and long one axis jumps become noticeable the bug existed due to the mod's uh, undoing what no was Fix for said bug. Yeah, this was not patched out of Optifine until release 1.1. Which, and it even has links to the videos. And, and it even had links to various videos. And... And though Anthem does have a video about all this, none of the following videos are from Anthem. It, uh, its links are not to Anthem's video. Because, uh, and good thing too, because if you're watching this video right now, you might be in a lot of trouble. Some videos are not good for your body itself. Okay, let's talk down the amount of <laughs> This is getting ridiculous in no time. Why, anyways, we move on. Why, moving on to the next one, and that is the glitches that SB737 has discovered. So we need to, it's gonna take a very long time until we can find the, these various glitches. Somewhere around here, okay. Next up is the ability to well, uh, get nether blocks, specifically for bedrock edition. Now, first things first. Uh, now, now, first things first. He had to build all. He had to work on this for so long. It was quite a tricky attraction to make. So, as you can see here, if you build a contraption just like SP737 is doing, Then, then, as you can see, you can indeed break the nether portal block. It's crazy. Yeah. Building a contraption? Well, this was fixed, and, uh, this was fixed by, but, but by the time foxes were added in Bedrock Edition, this bug was fixed. Bingo.
This next one is one of, is definitely one of the most notorious glitches I did not cover in my last video. Bed breaking bedrock. Now in Java Edition, there are a lot of glitches that you can break bedrock, and the most recent one was was the one in twenty W thirteen A. But in 20w20b, that bug on Java Edition specifically was fixed. Simple. Now, now in SB's case, he is mining bedrock. You see that? He's mining it. How? Well, simply put, the contraption that he is making was a is very complicated simple uh, uh, easy white there is what he is to break bedrock very very difficult but he gets the job done again just like the last bug this one was fixed in bedrock edition 1.13 Two mu uh, approximately a month before uh, uh, Buzzy Bees came out. Yeah, crazy. Again, next one is the Fall Land. I, 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 next up is the Fall Lands. Uh, I'm just kidding. No, not the Fall Lands. The ability to blink and portal blocks. Now, apparently, Asby was not in his best suit when he, he was when he was using this glitch. Before he updated it, Bedrock Edition to one point thirteen, he did a single glitch allowing him to. Well, using the withel, you could indeed break. And you're not gonna believe, and you're not gonna believe this when I say it. He literally breaks. He literally breaks an end portal block. Like, what the heck? By now, just watch closely. Thriddle's blowing up, and it will explode, and he will explode, and and you see that in his inventory? That is the end gateway. Again, just like the last, uh, just like the last two, this one was fixed in one point. 13. Simple, huh? Yeah. This next one was one of my... Uh, this next one is probably a very... Uh, this next one is very... Was... Uh, this next one, I did not even think I was... Uh, this next one forced me to even make a video about it. Chunk arrows. Yeah. <laughs> Chunk arrows. Yeah. Basically, uh, uh, basically this happens when Minecraft fails to uh, uh, when Minecraft fails to save chunks correctly. Chunk arrows a call. What? Chunk arrows are are kind of a structure, in kind of uh, are basically a glitchy structure, just like the Falllands, uh, uh, just like the Falllands. <sighs> they were, <sighs> and the stripe lands, if you want to say so yourself. Chunk arrows are very hard to find. The only way you can really get chunk arrows is. 
Is by little uh, is if you word literally doesn't say chunks correctly. Uh, uh, and doesn't say chunks correctly, is how you get chunk games. It this occurred in one point sixteen pre release one. Yeah. The second pre-release was released is soon after because Mojang had to be, uh, fix some bugs ASAP. Yeah, there were so many bugs in one. There were so many bugs in this version. Let's do this. One point sixteen. We release two. Seriously. There were several. Uh, there were several things. Game randomly crashes. Loading a world in 1.16 pre-release one always asks for confirmation. What the what the heck? Crashes when loading some worlds. Are you kidding me? World, world generation 1.16 pre-release one do not have the world generations saved correctly, causing chunk errors. You see? Game crashes when joining in disabled dimension, and game crashing when with if you entered a nether portal. Yeah, what the heck? Are you literally? You're kidding me. Build a portal. Game crashed before I built. Seriously, this I built a portal and the game crashed before loading the net. Though that's yeah, that's the bug. Let's go back to this chunk arrows one. Yeah. This is very um, Let's take a look at this. This is the result. I load a super world. World and begin flying around and I saw that the only only the spawn chunks were super flat and the west was normal generation. Look at this! Look at this! Yahoo! I... No. But anyways, that is it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!